Welcome to Fish Talk Hunt Radio with John Hennigan, where we're going to cast and blast you right out of this world with some of the best hunting and fishing stories that you can't even imagine. This is John Hennigan, and we have our host, Frank Selby, and we just got a couple of minutes with Frank and myself, and uh, Frank would be embarrassed if I told you, but it had some little medical setbacks, I think mostly due to stress, but, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's in perfect health today, and, you know, it's hard to keep the good ones down, right, Frank? Uh, well, we... Uh... That's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This round, yeah. I won. Oh, John. Yes. Uh, how are we doing on uh, your uh, condo down in Cabo? Are you, they're starting to fly again down there. Yeah, as a matter of fact, they've got some great rates. Um, by the, I've got a partner that takes it for three months, December, January, and February. But November right now is wide open. And if there's any listeners that are interested in going down, this is the prime time of the year uh, for the big fish, tuna and marlin. You know, we got the tournaments coming up at the end of the month and beginning of November. And the reason they do that tournaments then is that's because when it's the best fishing. But the fishing, partly because of, uh, you know, earlier in the year, um, People weren't coming down and going out, so there wasn't too many boats on the water. So it took the pressure off, and so there's tons of fish down there, if that's what you're interested in. But if yeah. not, there's plenty of other stuff to do. But so I've got a three-bedroom condo that you, I'll give you for half price. Um, I mean, it's cheaper than a, a single-bed hotel room. You get uh, three bedrooms, full kitchen, dining room, laundry, Parking garage for 150 bucks a night. Wow! But uh, you gotta gotta let me know because I want to get it booked up. All right, that's 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 the deal. Book uh, John's condo and uh, and get a super deal. We're going to be coming back here on Fish Hunt Talk Radio. Everybody's been talking about those scoozy shoes, and we're going to be talking to Chris and his dad Ted. Find out all about them, and uh, please stay with us. It's time for you to take a real fun adventure. Join a hosted fishing adventure to Alaska or Baja with the staff of Fish Talk Radio. Real fun adventures can book you on any adventure you desire. Bring your fishing friends or meet new ones. Fish Talk Radio gets the best deals from our sponsors to give you the best possible price. Real fun trips are inclusive, easy, no worry packages to the most popular fish grounds. Trips start around $600. Go to reelfunadventures.com. If you are still using a plastic hard shell cooler, things have changed for the better. AO coolers are lighter with twice the efficiency of the traditional bulky coolers. AO coolers are the best available soft-sided cooler with three-quarter inch high-density closed cell foam insulation. They will keep ice frozen for 24 hours in hot weather. Easy to carry, less space, it fits product inside for better performance. Go to aocoolers.com to order or find a retailer available at West Marine. We have something new and exciting for all fishermen and fisherwomen, from 5 to 12 year old boys and girls to teenagers and adults. Join the Unreal Fish Sales Fresh and Saltwater Fishing Club to get an amazing 50% discount on all Unreal rods and reels, 40% discount on all apparel, and 30% discount on all Unreal mounts. This monthly Fresh and Saltwater video contest has a cash prize up to $2,500. Members who join our Unreal Fish Sales Club anytime this 
holiday season will receive a free Unreal Fishtails shirt or hat of their choice. Go to our website at unrealfishtails.com to join. It's unreal. Fish have tails. Do you have an Unreal Fishtail to share? Unreal Fishtails wants to post it. Go to unrealfishtails.com. Real is spelled with a double E. Join the club and win big money with your shirt videos. No matter what, you win with half price on all quality reels and rods. Plus, huge discounts and accessories. Perfect gift for anglers. Check out the website now at unrealfishtails.com. A full-service fly shop, his and her fly fishing, offers FFI certified international fly fishing instructor and guide service with Frank Selby. Listen to Frank as host of fishhunttalkradio.com or listen live Saturdays at 9 a.m. Pacific time on Sirius XM Radio Channel 211. Custom flies are handmade to to your order in-house in Newport Beach. Fishing in Mexico, Belize, Florida, or the Rockies, Frank and the staff will deliver exactly what you need. Flies and gear. Google his and her fly fishing. Vagabundos Del Mar Boat and Travel Club has 42 years experience introducing RVers to the joys of Mexico. Specializing in Baja, Vagabundos leads caravans and sponsors fishing tournaments, trailer boat cruises, and weekend getaways in Mexico and the West. Vagabundos Del Mar also saves its 10,000 members tons of money on low-cost auto insurance. Stay up to date on Mexican travel with the printed newsletter online at V-A-G-A-B-U-N-D-O-S dot com or call 800-474-BAHA. Welcome back to Fish Talk Hunt Radio with John Hennigan. This is John Hennigan, and of course we have our host, Frank Selby, and we got a couple of... Uh, on, uh, and the, this program, what we want to do is make it interesting, first of all, fun to listen to, get information, and we get information about um, products that will help you, um, places to go, some of the things to do, and so we try and mix it up every week. We're going to start off with one of the most important pieces of equipment anybody can have, and we have Jim and his dad, Ted, uh, hopefully on the line, and uh, we're going to talk about what they do. No, John, that's Chris. That's Chris is on the line with us. Hmm. Okay, Chris. Uh, first of all, your operation is, uh, m- I wouldn't say mom and pop, but you and your dad are the operators, Yeah, but it's not something that's new to you. Uh, but give us a quick idea about how, uh, what you do and how you started it. Yeah, I'll let you start off, Ted. All right. Uh, this is Ted Alflin. Uh, Chris is my son. Uh, and both of us are former athletes. Uh, I was a professional football player with the Denver Broncos, New England Patriots, Montreal Alouettes. Um, once I stopped playing football, I was a marketing guy and owned my own company. And uh, when I sold that company, Chris wanted to go in the shoe business. He's He's a, a fantastic, accomplished artist with an art degree and a, and a shoemonger. Literally had 90 pairs of shoes. So we wanted to create something that would be extremely comfortable yet lightweight. We found that uh, our, our basically our goal was to make a superior shoe and offer that a value price point so everybody could buy it. So what we yeah. did was we analyzed all the boat shoes that were out there for their cost, uh, their qualities, and most importantly, what their shortcomings were. Right. We, not- we noticed most boat shoes were heavy, and they made your feet hot, and they tended to smell badly, and they wore out quickly because the, of the way they were manufactured. So what we did is we analyzed those problems and we solved them. We came out with the lightest, most comfortable shoe in the world. It's half the weight of the heavy boat shoes. A lot of them have leather, so your feet get real hot. And then you sweat and they smell. We used all antimicrobial material on the inside of the shoe to eliminate odor problems. And we put an extremely comfortable footbed in there to create additional comfort as well as the ability to remove it so you could literally wash the shoes if they got dirty. To make them oh, yeah, I just throw, throw them and wash every couple of weeks. And I wear them yeah. every day without socks, and they yeah, don't exactly. stink. But you're now, right, uh, the leather ones, uh, you know, it's, it's traditional, but you know, when they get wet, it's a problem. 
And exactly. if you're going to be in it near the water, that's a problem. But well, yours drink, yours, they drink yours. quickly. And uh, I'm just going to say something real quick. Is that if it's if you get out of the uh, market cross pavement, the insulation will keep your feet cool. But uh, when it when it's uh, when it's cold outside, it keeps you warm. Hey John, ask you the most important question: How do we get a hold of them to buy them? <laughs> oh well, okay. yeah, he has to sell them, doesn't he? You have to yeah. go to www. Scusi. That's spelled. Can you spell, spell that? S as in Sam. K U Z as in zebra. E choose with an S. S H O E S dot com. So www. Uh, it's kind of like kind of like excuse, but it's K U Z E. Exactly. Oh. And we'll have it on the web for a month, right, John? Uh, we'll have it up there in the show to get it. Yeah, John, you brought up a good point with the leather. The leather, because it doesn't breathe, it's hot. So we went to a high-tech mesh that's used in the $150 sneakers that you can't tear, and it breathes. So your feet never get hot. Now, right. these materials are, the shoes should sell somewhere between $140 and $160 with the materials we use and the quality and the fact that they're so, such a fantastic-looking shoe. But we have them value-priced at eighty nine ninety five, an absolute steal, and they never wear out. Yeah. No, you know, I don't want to say the brand, but, you know, the ones that you're talking about, they sell – for like a hundred and a quarter, a hundred and fifty, and you're right. You know they might. Uh, oh, look what brand I got! But uh, uh, they're not. All people all have to do is go not to, that all that attractive and not that comfortable. If they go to our website and read our reviews, they're not going to believe it. Everybody loves these shoes. Everybody. I think we're rated like what four point eight, Chris. Yeah, definitely really high up there. Great quality shoe. And how long have you guys been uh, um, been doing this? I know you're pretty well, new. Three or four years now. Uh, it's, mm-hmm. a, it's a very difficult business. It's it's dominated by giants, as you mentioned. Yeah. We're a, we're a small company, a father and son company, uh, and uh, we manufacture the best lightweight, best looking sh- shoes in the world. So uh, anybody. Oh yeah, you could our... you could wear those out to dinner, and you know. You'd... You're, you're in just, you know, you look just fine. Yeah, you definitely can. They're, they're they're built for pretty much everyday wear. If you want to wear them out around town, you can do that. If you want to go on the dinner, you can do that. If you want to wear them on the boat and get them wet, you can do that. It's pretty much an all-in-one type of shoe that can function. Yeah, just, sort of just walk in the water with them. Absolutely. They're, they're also non-marking, and they're slip-proof both uphill and downhill. So you don't mark exactly. the deck and you don't step and fall. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. No, they are they are awesome. Modern technology at its finest, that's for sure. Yeah, we and, tried to uh, that. The prices, you know, there's a difference between price and value. Generally, you know, some people will shy away from things because they seem to be too cheap because they know they can't be that good. Um, but people that are looking for value, not necessarily price, but value, uh, you've got to beat hands down. Well, I always had a theory that if you develop a quality product and you sell it at a value price, it guarantees your success. Yeah. Well, I agree with your way. That. And by the way, uh, I, I shouldn't spring this on you, but if somebody gets in touch with you by email or whatever and mentioned that they heard uh, – uh, heard you on the radio. Could you do some kind of a special deal for him? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we can create a we can create a promo code uh, that's that's based from your guys' uh, radio station. They can use that and they can get a percentage off. I could actually create that right away for you guys. So um, oh. yeah, that's easy to do. You know, another yeah. idea is uh, the seasons are coming and Christmas isn't that far away. But if you've got a Christmas list. All you need to do is know their size, and they make excellent Christmas gifts. So if somebody go on and buy 10 pairs, 
Uh, the shopping is done. You know what? Um, we could do, let's do uh, phishing uh, 25. If all they have to do, I'll create that code right away. All they have to do is enter a promo code phishing 25, and yeah. it'll, give, it'll give them a 25% uh, discount. Oh, can I do that? Wow. Yeah. No? Absolutely. Yeah, would. Okay. You know why we do that? Because every time we get a customer to buy these shoes, that person, by word of mouth, gets us five more customers. It's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. We know what to do. The, the promo code is FISHING25, FISHING25. The website, scoozyshoes.com. That's S K U Z E S. H O E S dot com, Scoozyshoes dot com, promo code Fishing twenty five, and uh, you're going to get your deal. Thanks so much, Chris and Ted, for being on the show. You will be back. We love having you on, and we're coming back after the break with Frank Addington, the Aspirin Buster. The East Cape of Baja, Mexico is world famous for sport fishing. Dorado, tuna, wahoo, marlin, sailfish, roosterfish, and parco. The Van Warmer Resorts make dreams come true at a price all can afford. Hotel Palmas de Cortez, Playa del Sol, and Hotel Punta Colorado have the biggest and best sport fishing fleet in all of Mexico. Call toll-free to 877-777-TUNA to find out how affordable world-class fishing can be. The finest resorts and the best boats in East Cape. Call 877-777-TUNA. Vagabundos del Mar Boat and Travel Club has 42 years experience introducing RVers to the joys of Mexico. Specializing in Baja, Vagabundos leads caravans and sponsors fishing tournaments, trailer boat cruises, and weekend getaways in Mexico and the West. Vagabundos Del Mar also saves its 10,000 members tons of money on low-cost auto insurance. Stay up to date on Mexican travel with the printed newsletter online at V-A-G-A-B-U-N-D-O-S dot com or call 800-474-BAJA. We have something new and exciting for all fish Fishermen and fisherwomen, from 5 to 12 year old boys and girls to teenagers and adults. Join the Unreal Fish Sales Fresh and Saltwater Fishing Club to get an amazing 50% discount on all Unreal rods and reels, 40% discount on all apparel, and 30% discount on all Unreal mounts. This monthly Fresh and Saltwater video contest has a cash prize up to $2,500. Members who join our Unreal Fish Sales Club anytime this holiday season will receive a free. Unreal Fishtails shirt or hat of their choice. Go to our website at unrealfishtails.com to join. It's Unreal. Fish have tails. Do you have an Unreal Fishtail to share? Unreal Fishtails wants to post it. Go to unrealfishtails.com. Real is spelled with a double E. Join the club and win big money with your short videos. No matter what, you win with half price on all quality reels and rods. Plus, huge discounts and accessories. Perfect gift for anglers. Check out the website now at unrealfishtails.com. A full service fly shop. His and her fly fishing offers FFI certified international fly fishing instructor and guide service with Frank Selby. Listen to Frank as host of fishhunttalkradio.com or listen live Saturdays at 9 a.m. Pacific time on Sirius XM Radio Channel 211. Custom flies are handmade to, to your order in house in Newport Beach. Fishing in Mexico, Belize, Florida, or the Rockies, Frank and the staff will deliver exactly what you need flies and gear. Google his and her fly fishing. It's time for you to take a real fun adventure. Join a hosted fishing adventure to Alaska or Baja with the staff of Fish Talk Radio. Real Fun Adventures can book you on any adventure you desire. Bring your fishing friends or meet new ones. Fish Talk Radio gets the best deals from our sponsors to give you the best possible price. Real Fun Trips are inclusive, easy, no-worry packages to the most popular fish grounds. Trips start around $600. Go to reelfunadventures.com. Welcome back to Fish Talk Hunt Radio with John Hennigan. This is John Hennigan. And, of course, we have our host, Frank Selby, the yeah. uh, master of um, fly fishing and you know, most any other type that you're looking for. And I could tell you some stories about him, but that would take away from our guest. Uh, we would like to bring on 
Uh, do we have Chris, Ted? Who do you have on this? Frank Allison. Say again? Frank Allison. Oh, God, I can't even. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Frank Allison, yeah. Frank Allison. <laughs> I'll tell, I'll tell you what, Frank has been on the show before. Fascinating. And uh, first of all, Frank, tell us uh, what, you're, what you do. Why are you so famous? Well, you know, I grew up in a family archery business, and I was around people like Fred Bear and some of the old-time really big names in archery, and I grew up around those guys. And when I turned 18, I went professional and began doing instinctive archery performances. But what really put the show on the map in 1994, I became the first archer in the world to hit a flying baby aspirin and tossed out of the air, but I had the bow behind my back, and it just caught on. I did it as a as just goofing around at a show, but it caught on so much and was so popular that that's the only way I've shot on stage since 1994 is holding the bow behind the back for the entire. Well, when you when you're normally using a bow for hunting, whatever it is, you do that behind your back. Lord, no, I shoot regular when I'm hunting, but uh, the 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 behind-the-back thing paid the bills. I mean, I came out to L.A., and all six L.A. TV stations videoed my show in one day. Yeah. So so it gets so much media and so much attention because people had never seen it or heard of it. It's crazy, right? uh, Well, an aspen is pretty small, but from what I understand, you may have someone from the audience just come up there and throw it up in the air. I mean, what? Someone from the audience will come up on the stage and throw the aspirin up. Oh, yeah, I don't have a dedicated thrower. Each show features a different thrower. That way they know it's not smoke and mirrors. And and sadly, yeah. sometimes if I have to shoot two or three times, I may be shooting good, but maybe the person can't throw very well. And that's oh, yeah. kind of funny. Yeah. But but yeah. I've, I've had that happen at the Des Moines, in Des Moines, Iowa one time, the Iowa Deer Classic. And... It was tough. It was a tough show because uh, the lady was left-handed, and she threw kind of funny, and I wasn't used to it. And, you know, I was hitting the pills, but I wasn't hitting them like normal. Yeah. You did that in but, Kansas yeah, it, one time. You were mad because it only splattered just a little bit. The next one, you made it look like a, a cloud. Yeah. Well, if you only throw it two or three feet in the air, that's not going to help. But uh, you you mentioned when you first started talking about instinctive shooting, and that's what I recall from interviewing you in the past, and I found that fascinating. So from behind your back, you cannot aim. So explain how that works. Well, you know, basically all of us have instinctive ability. Uh, That's the ability to take your eye and, and visualize. And I don't care if you're a golfer. You know, Tiger Wood has to have instinctive ability and or a professional quarterback because that quarterback, the, the ball, doesn't have a sight or an aiming device on it. There's no way to measure. That quarterback has to study that receiver and pattern the way he's running and then know his speed of his ball and know how to get that ball into that receiver's hands. All of that's moving all at once. You know, it's all fluid. And same way that baby aspirin, it's in the air. I'm not looking at the bow. I'm not looking at the arrow. My eye is watching that pill, and the brain is driving my hands and my arms. If we, a lot of times, we as humans tend to overthink stuff. And I don't care if you're Frank Shelby out there, Shelby out there fishing, fly fishing, and he wants that fly to go to a certain spot on that water. He's looking at that spot of the water. He's not looking at his rod or the fly. He's looking at the spot on the water. We all right. use it. It's just I spent years, years, years developing. And I have 20 over 8 vision. I have really, really good vision. Wow. Yeah, now that's what's interesting to me is that you're not really like a regular bow and arrow. You're looking at a target and you're aiming the arrow at it. But that's not at all what you do. No, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. It's a simple way of shooting, but it's very complicated in what goes on in the brain. And it's. It's, it, you know, I don't know how to explain it any better than uh, all of us have it. It's just I spent a long time developing it. Yeah, well, you've been doing it for a while. And I, I don't think you'd have much success if you 
uh, if you wanted, just went out and tried it the first time. Anybody. Hey, 35 years. Hey, John. Here, guys, 35 years. Go ahead, Brian. Ask him what we, me and him just joined. I just joined. He's been a, for a month or so. Joined what? Go ahead, John. Oh, you're talking about our sportsman, sportsman for Trump, Frank? Yeah. Rod and gun. Yeah, I, I'm I'm on the board uh, the board for uh, Sportsman for Trump, and I, you know I haven't done any shows since February because of the COVID virus. But uh, the campaign asked if I would be interested in being on their board, and Hoyt made a special bow. It's a red, white, and blue bow, one of a kind. And I have eras that say Trump, make America great again. The red, white, and blue feathers. And I was going to be going to events. And performing at some events, well, with this COVID, that got sidelined, but we've been doing virtual events. Yeah. I've had a lot of buddies visit, uh, you know, you just go to Sportsman for Trump website and they can sign up. And it's been a lot of fun. I, you don't really think of archery playing a part in a presidential campaign. And it, to me, it was kind of cool that they thought enough of me to invite me to be a part of it. And it's been exciting, very exciting uh, deal. Well, there's yeah. not so many of you. You know of anybody else that uh, uh, that does something like that? I've never heard of anybody. Me either. <laughs> the only time I get well, to see it is when he's doing a show and I can get to it. Don Don Trump Jr. asked me if I would show him how to do it, and I, I told him I would when time allowed. So he's a big bow hunter. A lot of people don't know that, but uh, he he hunts with a recurve and a compound. I'm sorry. Who is that? Don Trump Jr., the president. Oh, really? Okay. He's a big bow hunter. He's an outdoorsman. And, oh. you know, the, the, a lot of people didn't realize but that when the president signed the Great Outdoors Act, the Great American Outdoors Act, this year, that brings a total of about 4 million acres that's set aside for public use. Wow. I think, uh, I think it's some of the largest investment in our history, in our country's history, in our national parks and in our public lands. And he's, what he's done with that Great American Outdoors Act is provide more land for sportsmen to use, fishing, hunting, camping. It's kind of a oh, just, deal. Just, just, a, just a quick comment, just to know how lucky we are to live in the United States. Uh, in Europe, there's no such thing. They don't have national parks. If you want to go fishing or hunting, you have to buy a permit from the landowner. And well, the United you know, States has so much opportunity. Well, I, Teddy Roosevelt was a visionary, and yes. uh, what President Trump has done is following what Teddy Roosevelt, following that type of deal. Mm -hmm. And I'm, a, I'm like you. I, I thank God every day we live in America. It's an awesome yeah. opportunity we have, and um, the president's good on Second Amendment issues. I, I like the fact that he puts the spotlight on the criminal and not on our guns. He's a very strong supporter of our Second Amendment, and I like yeah. that. Hey, John. Yes. We need to get Frank and guess who else we would like to have on that uh, Frank is a very good friend with. Is, is he an outdoorsman? TV show. Is he an outdoorsman? Ted Nugent. That's right, Ted Nugent. Well, yeah. I'll tell you. I'll tell, I'll tell you what. Ted Nugent is a great American. Absolutely. I mean, he yeah, so what we're we going to do, uh, John, we're going to talk to Frank, and we'll, I'll call his brother and see if we can get him on, the uh, the four of us, uh, sometime this month, the end of the month. I've got Ted or, or Ted next month. Yeah, that'd be great. I can text Ted, Frank. I've got his cell number. Okay, yeah. you text him and tell him we'd like to have him the last weekend of the month if he can do it. I know he's not doing shooting right now. I uh, talked to him, uh, his brother, a few uh, a couple months ago, and he was busy right then, but we should call him and see if we can't get him. Well, it's starting to be hunting season, so it might be tough. Yeah. Well, he might take well, an you know, hour I think off. He texts me sometimes from his tree stand. <laughs> yeah, he just yeah. call us on his cell phone from his... From his, uh, from his up in the tree. <laughs> well, you guys, you I guys can go be great. If you want to see my ugly mug, Frank, just go to Sportsman for Trump, the website, and there's a place there that you can 
you can sign up to be, you know, get emails and all that, but also you can see the board members and read about some of the outdoorsmen and outdoors women. You know, I got to include women because my mother, guys, shot her 20th black bear with a bow at age 72. <laughs> and Ted, Ted Nugent was in camp with her and my dad. And wow. I've got a picture of my 72 year old mother with a big old black bear, her compound bow. It was number 20. And her and Ted are sitting there side by side with the bear. Wow. Just out of curiosity, what do you do with the bear? Eat well, the if, the if the meat is prepared properly and slow roasted, it's some of the best. It's almost like a beef roast. Yeah. It's got to be slow cooked because it can get trichinosis. Right. And it's like pork. It, it's got, you really got to cook it well. You, can, you don't ever eat it rare. You Wait, really yeah. cook it. Hey, right. guys, we're going to have to, going to have to leave it there. We've been talking to Frank Addington, Jr., the Aspirin Buster. He's at frankaddingtonjr.com. That's frankaddingtonjr.com. Videos videos on the website, videos on YouTube, and, of course, we've been talking about Sportsman for Trump also. Thank you so much for being on the show, Frank, and we're going to be coming back with Steve Lynch from ProCure. something new and exciting for all fishermen and fisherwomen from 5 to 12 year old boys and girls to teenagers and adults join the unreal fish sales fresh and saltwater fishing club to get an amazing 50 percent discount on all unreal rods and reels 40 percent discount on all apparel and 30 percent discount on all unreal mounts this monthly fresh and saltwater video contest has a cash prize up to twenty five hundred dollars members who join our unreal fish sales club anytime this holiday season will receive a free Unreal Fishtails shirt or hat of their choice. Go to our website at unrealfishtails.com to join. It's Unreal. Fish have tails. Do you have an Unreal Fishtail to share? Unreal Fishtails wants to post it. Go to unrealfishtails.com Real is spelled with a double E. Join the club and win big money with your shirt videos. No matter what, you win with half price on all quality reels and rods. Plus, huge discounts and accessories. Perfect gift for anglers. Check out the website now at unrealfishtails.com The road stretches for miles in front of you, and with the Ram 1500, you'll be able to reach mile after open mile. It gets a best-in-class 25 miles per gallon highway, so your destination won't just be determined by your gas gauge, but by your gauge for achievement. And the Ram 1500 is the first-ever back-to-back Motor Trend Truck of the Year. Guts. Glory. Ram. See your local Ram dealer today for great deals. EPA estimated 25 MPG highway based on V6 4x2. A full service fly shop, his and her fly fishing, offers FFI certified international fly fishing instructor and guide service with Frank Selby. Listen to Frank as host of fishhunttalkradio.com or listen live Saturdays at 9 a.m. Pacific time on Sirius XM Radio Channel 211. Custom flies are handmade to, to your order in house in Newport Beach. Fishing in Mexico, Belize, Florida, or the Rockies. Frank and the staff will deliver exactly what you need. Flies and gear. Google his and her fly fishing. Alaskan RV Butler. Guiding, fishing, hiking, sightseeing, adventure. The Alaskan RV Butler. Like a cruise on wheels in the comfort of an RV. View the wonders of Alaskan interior, streams, ocean, and wildlife. Or fish for the big one. All while pampered by Mike, the Alaskan RV Butler. Mike's inclusive tours serve butter-drenched shellfish and mouth-watering steaks. Mike is your personal chef, chauffeur, guide, and planner. And for the real Alaska, contact Mike RV Butler at gmail.com. That's Mike RV Butler at gmail.com. It's time for you to take a real fun adventure. Join a hosted fishing adventure to Alaska or Baja with the staff of Fish Talk Radio. Real Fun Adventures can book you on any adventure you desire. Bring your fishing friends or meet new ones. Fish Talk Radio gets the best deals from our sponsors to give you the best possible price. Real Fun Trips are inclusive, easy, no-worry packages to the most popular fish grounds. Trips start around $600. Go to reelfunadventures.com. Welcome back to Fish Talk Hunt Radio with John Hennigan. This is John Hennigan, and we have our host, Frank Selby. And we have another special friend of ours uh, that just got back from uh, Oregon, no, Washington, I suppose, right? 
Um, right. And I, I, I was in touch with him while he was gone, gone for like two weeks, uh, and he was salmon fishing. So if uh, Steve, you know, we can't take up too much time, but can you give us a kind of a rundown on your experience and your recent trip? Well, we we started fishing in August at Bowie Chin, you know, at the mouth of the Columbia River, and then we moved up to as soon as that ended the 28th of August, we moved up to uh, the mouth of the Deschutes and the Cricketap River, uh, which which is in the Columbia, but further up the system. And and we were hover fishing up above and doing quite well. Uh, so we just rented a house up there uh, and had different groups coming in at night. And we'd fish them in the evening and get in the morning and send them on home. Yeah. But... Uh, uh, yeah, that's just coming to a close. Uh, the, the count just sort of dropping off. Uh, so th- actually, this last Friday, I fished in Washington on the Cowlitz River for coho, and, and that fishing is pretty phenomenal. Lots, lots of coho in the rivers right now. Oh wow! Well, I understand that there is so many <clears throat> salmon coming up river that they extended the season. They did. <clears throat> it, it, it shut down on September eighth to us. And they reopened it up uh, on the 14th through the end of the, just till it closed. There was no closure day. Just they let it be, remain open until the fish quit coming. Mm. Uh, that sounds that sounds like a good trip. Yes, it, it's great to see it, and lots of jacks coming through as well, which which will mean good numbers for next year. Oh yeah. Well, wait a minute. Uh, if they come up, they don't spawn them, right? They do not. But but it yeah. just it just shows that they 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 do their counts off 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 the jack short over the over Bonneville Dam, and there's mm-hmm. about three times as many as 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 a ten year average, so they're quite excited about that. Mm. Yeah. So, well, so now when you when you fish, you fish below the dam for the yeah. salmon. Oh or yeah, I start below I start below Bonneville Dam right actually the mouth of the Columbia oh. River, in the, in the ocean. And then I follow them up river all the way up, uh, you know, ninety five miles up the river, actually. Yeah. And they're nice and big and healthy. Oh, they're they're the upriver brights are beautiful. They're they're actually headed, you know, to Idaho, like Snake River, the Clearwater. Right. And uh so so the upriver brights are in beautiful shape. You know, there there's some coolies marked in there with them. Uh, which are darker, a lot more mature eggs, so we try to release those. Uh, but for the most part, we're catching up river brights, and they call those URBs. Uh, and what kind of culture do we put on our uh, lures and flies to catch them? Oh, I tell you what, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm using bloody tuna and then the salmon slammer, uh, especially with the warmer water, that and salmon slammer is a garlic face scent. The garlic does really well in the warmer water. Uh, is that a uh, is that a dry fly on top, or do you uh, you mid- or you're dropping them down, or where are they at in the water? So, so when we started out at Bowie Ten, we, we were we were trolling uh, lures, spinners, and and also using bait. And then we went up above. We were hover fishing, so we were just using a piece of egg and vertical uh, fishing it, and just waiting for them to lightly bite it. Uh, and so we were using the oils on the eggs, but we were and we were using the gels on like the spin fish and, and uh, the super baits that we were using down below. Oh, you know what? Before we get too far into this, uh, talk to us about corn cure. Okay. Well, we we make we're 100 percent uh, made from real bait. And then, then so we have about forty-eight different baits that we buy across the U.S. Forty what? Stabilizes forty-eight different baits. Oh, you know, so, so I've got like anchovy, herring, you know, sardine for this area. But for the East Coast, I've got menhaden, mullet, blue crab, setter crab, pinfish. So, you know, Florida, Louisiana, Texas, you know, we're buying those baits, doing the same thing, grinding them up, pressing them for the oil. And then bottling it and selling it back to them. Uh, so the the oils we can stabilize for up to five years, and the gels will go ten to twelve years. Wow. In storage, yeah. 
And then wow. we're adding a little UV in case guys are fishing down deep or in murky water. And yeah. then we're also adting uh, uh, four branch chain amino acids, which is just a, a trigger thing to feed. Well, you told me one time about the quantity of bait fish that you buy, and it's hard to comprehend. Can you mention that real quick? Oh, well, I'm probably doing over 250,000 pounds of bait this year. Wow. And that's what I'm doing. I'm, I've been at my dining room table most of the day doing projections for next year. Yeah. And I, I'm a little over 250,000 pounds that I'm ordering. From yeah. So when Prince here started out, as just a way to cure eggs. Uh, Correct. But, uh, it was, started uh, in 84. We are the first commercial egg here on the market. Mm -hmm. and, and things have blown up since then. Uh, now we have 17 different egg cures. And we've got... Uh, Shoot 390 different uh, uh, scents. Some are no custom blends. Uh, some are, are just straight oils. Uh, plus, we private label for you know a dozen different manufacturers. Well, if you're going to go uh, fishing in Colombia or fishing for Dorado in Mexico, uh, you, you've got whatever they need. Correct. And, and the only thing I would say, like if you're doing Dorado in Mexico and you're trolling seven to nine knots, that yeah. is not a factor, right? It, it, so that's a reaction bite. Right. But if you're, if, you're sight, if you're sight fishing, right, and pitching jigs at them or throwing iron at them, yeah. then that's a huge factor. Uh, but I always tell guys when they're, when they're marlin or dorado or any of that high-speed troll, scent is not a factor. Uh, but other than that, and you know, just trolling, you know, 1.5 mile, you know, here like we would for for trout or kokanee or salmon in the Columbia or any river, scent's huge. Then what? Scent is huge if you're trolling, you know, say oh, yeah. 1.5. Yeah. Well, the high the high speed troll uh, would would wash it off, right? Yeah, well, the high yeah, and actually by the time they would smell it, you're it's gone at seven knots or nine knots. Yeah. Right. Well, does it does it leave a trail? It it does, but we just don't feel it's effective. So we we don't push it towards that. We tell guys that it's not a factor. You know, we, unless, we don't unless want to mislead. Yeah. Unless they're Correct. spilling. Mm -hmm. You bet. Uh, but well, no, fish, normally, Marlin, you can they'll, they'll hit on us that, but normally it's sight fish for them. Correct. If you're sight fishing, the scent is huge. You know, a lot of sardine and tuna. Yeah. Uh, Yes, uh, it's it's big business. Uh, I tell well, you what. Well, apparently, so two hundred fifty thousand. No, is it tons? You said. Uh, 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 pounds, yes. And we're selling right now to twenty nine yeah. countries. Two hundred fifty thousand pounds a, a, a year is what you're producing. Correct. Well, and that doesn't include the salmon eggs. So there's another hundred and fifty thousand pounds of salmon eggs. So probably close oh. to four hundred thousand pounds of bait total. Wow. But and you uh so you just buy the eggs by themselves, you don't uh, you don't uh, process them from salmon? Yeah, yeah, no because uh, we don't use salmon as bait. So I buy those eggs. Uh I go up and sign contracts in Alaska and and buy different grades of eggs. You know, but maybe right. just curing and crushing because we have a lobster and crab attract. Well I'll tell you what That's uh, 40 percent um you know, the carcasses are probably do real well on the halibut. Uh, they would. Uh, yeah, they would. But unfortunately, we don't. We don't use that. Uh, we don't sell the carcasses. Uh, well, you got. Oh, you got the butt juice. Uh, Correct. We have the butt the juice, the squid, the octopus. The halibut, and virtually uh, every, every fisherman that knows what they're doing, uh, they'll drop a bait down, and before they put it in the water, they they uh, put a plenty of uh, butt juice on it. And that uh, scent will bring them from half a mile. Yes, it will. And I've seen it time and time again. You know, this year with the virus going around, I, I unfortunately didn't get to go into Canada and do, do our, our deep water fisheries that we normally do a couple times a year. Uh, so I'm kind of going through withdrawals. But uh, hopefully everything will be better and the borders will be open next year. And we can uh, go do it to it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, it. I tell you what, though, it's it really makes a difference for your bottom fishing. Uh, you know, yeah. you can fish one side of the boat 
naked, the other side was sent, and there's going to be three to one with your fish. Wow. Well, and, and you know, you, these are not made up numbers. And you guys, you no. guys are professionals. And, and we we have we have hundreds of guys that will test to it. Yeah. You know, like I said, we've been doing it since '84, uh, and, and every year, you know, we kind of expand, and then we have different manufacturers reaching out to us for um, us to do custom blends for them, and a lot of them are even putting in their soft plastic. Uh, uh, Frank, do you have any questions for uh, Steve? What's that? I said to Frank, do you have any questions for Steve? Uh, no, I know how well it works. I use a little bit when I'm taking kids out. You know, uh, out of Crest Children's Home, the uh, policeman's kids. I do a lot of children's stuff, and I always use it, and it works unbelievable. Yeah, that that is the bottom line. Uh, the stuff works. Everybody knows it. Everybody loves it. Procure dot com. Procure dot com. We've been talking to Steve Lynch, and uh, thank you, Steve, for being on the show. We'll be right back. something new and exciting for all fishermen and fisherwomen from 5 to 12 year old boys and girls to teenagers and adults join the unreal fish sales fresh and saltwater fishing club to get an amazing 50 percent discount on all unreal rods and reels 40 percent discount on all apparel and 30 percent discount on all unreal mounts this monthly fresh and saltwater video contest has a cash prize up to $2,500. Members who join our Unreal Fish Tales Club anytime this holiday season will receive a free Unreal Fish Tales shirt or hat of their choice. Go to our website at unrealfishtales.com to join. It's Unreal. Fish have tails. Do you have an Unreal Fish Tale to share? Unreal Fish Tales wants to post it. Go to unrealfishtales.com. Real is spelled with a double E. Join the club and win big money with your short videos. No matter what, you win with half price on all quality reels and rods, plus huge discounts and accessories. Perfect gift for anglers. Check out the website now at unrealfishtails.com. A full-service fly shop, his and her fly fishing, offers FFI-certified international fly fishing instructor and guide service with Frank Selby. Listen to Frank as host of fishhunttalkradio.com or listen live Saturdays at 9 a.m. Pacific time on Sirius XM Radio Channel 211. Custom flies are handmade to, to your order in house in Newport Beach. Fishing in Mexico, Belize, Florida, or the Rockies, Frank and the staff will deliver exactly what you need. Flies and gear. Google his and her fly fishing. It's time for you to take a real fun adventure. Join a hosted fishing adventure to Alaska or Baja with the staff of Fish Talk Radio. Real fun adventures can book you on any adventure you desire. Bring your fishing friends or meet new ones. Fish Talk Radio gets the best deals from our sponsors to give you the best possible price. Real fun trips are inclusive easy, no-worry packages to the most popular fish grounds. Trips start around $600. Go to reelfunadventures.com. If you are still using a plastic hard shell cooler, things have changed for the better. AO coolers are lighter with twice the efficiency of the traditional bulky coolers. AO coolers are the best available soft-sided cooler with three-quarter inch high-density closed cell foam insulation. They will keep ice frozen for 24 hours in hot weather. Easy to carry, less space, it fits product inside for better performance. Go to aocoolers.com to order or find a retailer available at West Marine. Used by fishermen who know where to get the best fishing gear around, AFTCO makes the highest quality fishing rod components worldwide. If it says AFTCO, you know you have a quality rod. Guy Harvey Clothing, the best outdoor clothing line anywhere, is also available through AFTCO. Longest lasting, functional, and best looking clothing you'll be proud to wear. Only the very best materials and workmanship. As soon as you put it on, you'll know the difference. Look for AFTCO at quality retailers or go to AFTCO.com. Welcome back to Fish Talk Hunt Radio with John Hennigan. This is John Hennigan. We have our host, Frank Selby. And we just, you know, it's Frank, I look forward to doing this show. Uh, you do all the work, and I just 
talk once in a while, and I just enjoy it. But the thing is, one of the reasons I enjoy it is I learn something every week. Yeah. And uh, you can go to our website, and uh, which is, uh, you know, uh, Fish Hunt Talk. And, you know, listen to some previous shows. There's some yeah. segments and some interesting people. And, uh, you know, if you got nothing else to do, uh, or even if you do, or you're driving down the road, tune in. Yeah. Well, yeah. I have a, I get a call probably somebody comes in the shop at least once a week and says, I finally heard one of the shows. I love it. Yeah. Well, we've got a couple of, you know, I, I'm not supposed to give out any numbers, but I know we've got at least a couple hundred thousand people that are tuning in. Oh, easy. And I know our web pages are getting hit a lot, too. And I think if we had counters on all of them, you would be in total shock. Yeah, well, we would love to get people to get into contact with us. Now, one of the things you can do, you enjoy the show and there's something that you're interested in and we haven't covered it, let us know and we'll schedule somebody to fill you the need. Yeah. Well, I do that every week. I try to get somebody in a different part of the country. So Yeah, no, I'm just saying that episode. if you're if you're a listener, but let's say you want to learn about pig hunting or yeah, marlin fishing or whatever it is, uh we'll 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 find an expert and we'll put them on the show for you. You know, pig hunting all over the United States has gotten so big, and so many farmers will just let you on their land for free to shoot pigs. Well, real quickly, I don't want to spend the whole time on it, but in the United States, especially in some states like California, um, there's a explosion. I mean, a, 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 a pig can have uh, 10... Uh, piglets, and they do that twice a year. So they multiply to three times. Okay. Well, they multiply to the point where they're, in, they're, they're, they're now a nuisance. And that is especially true for the, of course, the, the feral pigs. And the pig is feral, they change, and then they usually crossbreed with the Hungarians where they get tufts and stuff. And they can be mean, but they're, they're very detrimental to the environment. And they dig up stuff to eat uh, farmers' crops, and uh, you know they, we've got too many of them. So we should probably encourage people to uh, put them on the rotisserie. Yes, uh, actually, wild boar are so lean. Sometimes you have to add grease. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. But their meat is really white. Wild boar have a a lot lighter meat. And domestic raised pig. Oh, I didn't know that. It tastes much better, yeah. Yeah. And there's places you can go that'll take your pig hunting with pretty much guaranteed results. Uh, yeah. And they're not, it's not that expensive. But, uh, you know, to go out and take one down and have it dressed and, uh, you know, put it on the barbecue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's places in Texas, they do everything for you, package it, they don't charge you any extra. They uh, they do everything for you. P put them in boxes. Put them uh, quick froze, so you bring them back anywhere in you, uh, the world. Uh, they're frozen for over 24 hours with them boxes now. Easy. Actually, yeah. one time I lost a box for a, a day. The second day it came, and it was still frozen. Oh boy, oh boy, guys, we're gonna have to wrap it up. This is Fish Hunt Talk Radio. Thanks to our listeners around the country, around the world, all the military bases. We appreciate you being there. Come back next week. We'll be here.